Good morning guys. We just got back from the beach last night and we had so much fun. Um, definitely go check out that video somewhere on the channel. I'll link it down below. But we got back a little late so we didn't really have time to clean up Duke and Roxy. So this is our 1956 Chevy wagon and the 1955 Hummingbird. And when we go to the beach, like every time we get back, we like to just give them a good wash because of all the salt water, you know, you don't want them rusting any further. So we're gonna just spend the day washing them, cleaning them out, making them look tip top again. Okay, Danny's gonna remove the surfboard so we can really scrub down the roof. I mean, <laughs> this is a big board. Big one? It's a nine foot board right here. Shoot, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> this is the board you used last time. Is it? I think so. Right? Yeah. Can't wait for this summer to go a little more often. We'll wash this as well. Yeah, clean off the board. And I know a lot of you guys are going to think like the car and trailer look exactly the same once we're done, but that's what happens when you're cleaning up your patina car. But that's also the beauty of it is then it just doesn't really look dirty ever. We gotta roll this up. Oh yeah, let's roll up the windows. So we're using O'Reilly's Pro X1 line. We have the wash and their all wheel and tire cleanse. All right, just a little OCD. We try not to spray too much water along the top and along the edges here, so because it does like to creep down into the inner doors and it'll actually start rusting out down there. So we kind of try to minimize the water that we use on the car. We actually don't even wash them that much unless we go to the beach. No. We, we never wash them, we just wipe them off because we don't want them to rust anymore. No. <laughs> detailer for a few years at oh. like a really high-end detailing shop that like had contracts with Ferrari and Porsche, Audi, like really nice stuff and I even drove like a Rolls Royce and a Bentley one time for work which is crazy because I think I was only like I think I was like 16 or 17 <laughs> like just got my driver's license target practicing looks like a BB gun yeah it didn't like fully penetrate yeah probably a BB gun maybe a 177 caliber pellet damn Roxy's a <laughs> Roxy's a little badass <laughs> there's one way up high <laughs> wow somebody really damn went kids. after it <laughs> damn kids. they don't know how rare this trailer really is inside when you have to but also like fully enjoying them like yeah this car is used all summer long and only really goes away for the winter time when it's like really rainy so because of that this car is gonna last forever yeah. <laughs> and if the motor goes out we'll rebuild it mm -hmm. so somebody in the last video was asking where we got this roof rack this is made by Sweet Patina. You can check them out on Instagram. 
and um, pretty nice. It didn't come with these uh, rails, but we just built these in-house. Um, really nice. Yeah, they've held up really well. I'm thinking of getting a set for the Tempest so I can strap some boards up top. They also make a patina sauce that helps preserve like the rust. Mm -hmm. And it just acts as a barrier so the water doesn't like get onto the rust. Check this out, Yellowstone, 1937 sticker. What? Yeah, that's pretty cool. I don't know, it was there when I bought the trailer. I mean, I know it's been to Yellowstone. There's some stuff on the inside. We'll show you later uh, some places that this trailer's been. Oh yeah, the postcards. And yeah. Everything. Yeah. Oh, Roxy's like my favorite to clean just because it's like a big old surface and then you just like there's so much like satisfaction when you see everything coming down <laughs> it's just a big wall all right that's all clean Well, all we have to do is dry them off. Yep, bath time is over. Then we'll storm yeah. away till the sun comes out again. Yeah. It should be about next week. I know. Let me show you a little something. So these old cars are not very leak proof. As you can see, we got a little water there and a small amount over here in the corner. So that's why we try to avoid like spending a lot of time with the water around the windows and just real lightly mist them. Yeah. So you can minimize that stuff, but uh, you know, so can't it, stop it all. It's its first wash of the season and probably the last, like, <laughs> unless it gets really dirty. <laughs> Gotta love that spotlight. All right, we figured since we went this far with the cleaning, we really wanted to like clean out the interior on both uh, Duke and Roxy. And I think we have like over a year's worth of junk that we've just kind of thrown in here and hoarded. So I honestly don't know what we're gonna find, but we're gonna show you right now. So I think I'm gonna start with this. It's and just we're a beach gonna mat. lay it out. We'll lay out all our stuff on there. Okay. We got a hunting hat from when we went coyote hunting. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, here's your jacket? Oh, my jacket. Okay. Jeez, we've been looking for that. Another beach towel. Beach towel. Here's your wetsuit. Wetsuit. Need to do more surfing. So. <gasps> oh my gosh, I've been looking for this forever. <laughs> I've been wearing the same hoodie every day and I thought I lost this. This is my friend. Quarter Pounder? Yeah, he owns the Quarter Pounder um, Nostalgia Funny Car. 
Oh my, it's been in here the whole time. <laughs> See? Oh my God. Okay, what else we got? Okay, I feel like we gotta open up the back here to get some of this out, but I don't know how far we can actually open it with this here. I thought it hit, yep. Okay. But it's okay, we'll raise this up. Now we can access all of the fishing gear. That's the tackle box. A couple fishing rods. An extra tow hitch, you never know. Mm -hmm. Surfing leashes. Beach ball. <laughs> okay. See, we got a bunch of worms in here for surf perch. Sand crabs. More sand worms. Stuff right here, these are for bass. We're going to go bass fishing soon. <laughs> so we'll use these. These are the good ones. Ox blood. Oh, that's Alex's favorite. Okay. All right. Let's see what else we got. Yeah, we have a shirt. That's mine. Mike Co. Oh, this thing is so great. This is like to change into your um, wetsuit. How do you do it? Show them how. Show them how. Then I gotta put it on. Well, in essence, it's like a big old snuggie, and you like put it on. And then you can like slip it on underneath, so you don't gotta show it Yeah, you it can all. put that on, take off all your clothes so you, there's nothing on underneath, and then you put on your wetsuit so when you're on the side of the road, nobody sees your <laughs> family jewels. Okay, we got pajama those pants. Those are my PJs. We got your wetsuit and another one of the ponchos. Sunscreen. Sunscreen? We have pillows. Two pillows. And a little damp. Why does it look like somebody drooled all over this thing? <laughs> Andrew? No. <laughs> Bring these out. These are really cool. So this is a mattress actually, and it fits perfectly in the back of there. So if you ever need to crash out in the back of Duke. There you go. Waters. Yep. And we'll pull this out as well. So, and I think we'll leave this stuff in the storage here. So we got a little storage area underneath there with some jumper cables, some extra oil, because Duke, sometimes he gets thirsty. Do we have anything in the front? Uh, oh. More worms for bass fishing. Oh. And an extra beach ball. And some binoculars. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Oh, we got a rod up here. Oh, bass fishing rod. I forgot about this one. Oh. We're going to need that soon. That's my Corrado. Perfect. It's already in place. Mm hmm The headliner is just bitching. <laughs> it looks crazy, huh? It's got like this original flooring. I know. And it, this is the first time I've seen it like this empty in a long time just cleared out cool well we'll blow it out and vacuum it and yep. and we'll do the trailer that squirrel just took your lunch get the gauntlet right now <laughs> she wants to get the gun out it just took your burger that's a whole ass burger Oh, he's going to be a fat one. We're going to go for him later. Once he's <laughs> finished that burger. <laughs> That's a tree squirrel, though. You, there's a season for those. Aww. You can't just shoot them year-round. Oh, look at that. Oh. Crow just went after him. Next up, we are going to empty out Roxy. It's going to be a little bit of a mess. Some pre-warning. So. Well, a lot of stuff fell over on yeah. the trip here from the beach. So let's just start out with pulling out these jack stands. Okay. Just keep them here on the floor? Yeah. These are the pieces of wood we used to like pop it up. Oh, the kettle fell down. No! Okay. 
So I guess just start handing me stuff. Oh, here's your sweater and your Ooh. other jacket. Looks like I spilled a bunch of stuff on it. <laughs> a little explosion. Sleeping bag. Yeah, hang on. Oh, Andrew's in and out bag. That's pretty cool. Oh, he left us some beer in here, I think. Uh huh. The Malibu chairs. else you got back there we got um a kite and some stuff to make s'mores oh wow we didn't have s'mores but we had an amazing apple pie mm -hmm. so good okay we have a Ugh. this needs thing a needs a good cleaning needs a little cleaning i mean we made mac and cheese in here an apple pie in here mm -hmm. uh, bacon eggs and blueberry pancakes were all made in this oh yeah and beef jerky. Beef jerky. I would literally dive into that right now. South Mountain Jerky Company. Really good. Ew. Oh. Ew. Some leftover mac and cheese. Oh no, eggs. eggs. Ooh. At least they haven't been in here that long. Ew, but they're gonna smell. Okay. <laughs> we got the license plate that fell off of the trailer. This thing needs to be clean. Ooh. This is cool. Yeah. Look at this license plate is actually I think it's like the shape of the state so I don't think that's actually r rusted off there on the end that's like the outline of the state I believe that's so cool maybe somebody from Kansas can chime in there but I think that's how what the shape of the state is like 1955 yeah look at that that's not crunched in there that's just how their license plates are mm -hmm. I think wow that's really yeah it looks too like meat around the edges <laughs> I like that. Okay, it's really just this. Do you want to pull that out or can he stay? He can stay. Okay. I have no idea where that came from, but we got a wooden knife here. Only in California. <laughs> here. <laughs> Junk. Okay, wow. There's a lot of stuff that we had inside the trailer in the car. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now it's like as empty as it can be. And I think we're just gonna clean it up first before we really like show you guys like the full tour of this camping rig. All right, we checked all the fluids again. Everything's good to go for the next trip. Going in on the jerky. This is so good. Yeah. Amazing. So to help further protect the top of the car, we're going to use boiled linseed oil on a rag and uh, just lightly like rub it into the top surface here like this and um, that'll uh, help protect it from rusting further. You don't need none of that patina sauce or pimp juice, just some good old linseed oil. It's an old Indian trick. Okay, just dab it on like this, just a little bit. Rub it in real lightly. See that? See what a difference it makes? You know, if you put a lot more, it'll be a lot more shiny, but I kind of like to keep it satin. So just like that. And then once the water hits it, it'll just bead right off and protect it from the UV rays as well. But I like to do this to Duke at least once, twice a year. Keep them a little bit more protected. Look at that. Wow. See how it's kind of dry looking here? Watch mm -hmm. this. See that? You yeah. see that? Damn, Duke. He's feeling better already. He's ready to go again. Wow, that looks really good. Yeah. Shoot, my Pontiac's going to need some of that. Yep. Okay, here is the half of the rooftop done and half of it not. So this side's been treated. That side's still dry, as you can see. And this stuff won't be oily, like after it sits for a little while, it's not gonna be oily like it looks right now. It'll dry up, so when you touch it, you won't have anything on your hands. It's not just like putting oil on the car. Um, this stuff dries up, actually. Okay, 
Okay, just a little reminder, after you're done with the sauce, sauce in the top, make sure you put this rag in like a bucket of water and really like soak it because if you leave this thing crunched up like this in the back of a car, it will start on fire on its own. It's pretty wild, but I've seen it happen actually. So um, make sure you dispose of this correctly or else your car will catch on fire or a building. All right, here they are all cleaned up and looking good. So we're gonna go and take you down to the creek with us. We're gonna go, um, there's a creek down the way and we think there might be fish in there. Yeah. We haven't checked this season. We're gonna head down there right now. We got the rods in the back and let's see if we catch anything. Got these O'Reilly bobbers that we picked up at the Grand National Roadster Show. We've been dying to use these. So. Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's see if we can catch some. cleaning out the rig obviously we want to give you a walk around on the wagon and the trailer but we're here at the creek we thought we'd do a little fishing on our lunch break and we got the rods set up we got my little o'reilly bobber hanging off the end of that thing oh, that's crazy o'reilly auto parts makes fishing bobbers i know that's cool. I and we got this this set up right here for bass largemouth bass well we'll see if there's any bass in here yeah so, yeah, show them. Bye. So here is Duke all cleaned up. There's his dash. It's all worn down from the sun. Custom headliner my mom built. And that's the original flooring like we showed you earlier. This is his original paint job. And here's the back. This uh, opens up here real nicely, very handy. And we sleep in the back of here sometimes, unless we have Roxy. Yeah, which this is a 1955 Hummingbird. Take a look now that it's nice and clean. Oh, this is much better. where if you watched our beach video you would have seen us like using this to make breakfast and it's all functional um, this is the bed this is where we lay at night um, there's a closet right here a mirror um, plenty, of, plenty of storage space he was talking about the postcards earlier oh yeah here they are Palm Springs Yellowstone National Park what is this marine land. sea world huh marine land what is that I don't know, there's a bunch of them. Oh. Okay. The ice box. And what is this? Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. So, so yeah, little. Oh, ice yeah. Box. Ice box. It's not refrigerated, it's just basically like an ice chest. And lots of storage on this side here. Yeah. The princess stove. And the dining area. Mm hmm. And then this folds down actually and makes a small bed here. And then we're talking about the windows earlier. Her favorite part is the windows because they do this cool little thing here like that. Get some nice cross flow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this thing is so nice at the beach. Yeah, it's simple, small, um, easy. It's light to Original. pull with Duke. Well, enough chatting, let's go fishing. Okay.
nothing in here. <laughs> we gotta get back to work. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a closer look at the camping rig. Um, we just got back to the shop now. We have a lot of work to do. We're actually shooting another video for you guys like right after this. So we're gonna get in there and get to work. Roxy's back in its spot. Duke is gonna go back in the shop. And yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this video and we will see you next time.